Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time. Welcome to a special edition of My Time with Tony for May 17th. In this video, we're going to go over the DLC that was just announced. Kubota has been confirmed. We are going to do a separate mod video for the stuff that came out on the mod hub today. So stick around the channel, see when that comes out. But for now, let's get to the DLC. Here's the announcement that came out. Kubota packet has been confirmed. June 28th is the date. We got some pictures here. Bunch of different tractors, vehicles. Here's the list. We'll go over all these in more detail. Some pictures there for you. Again, we'll show some better pictures of these. Here's a few interesting things. It says getting a passenger seat. With this DLC, another neat feature, functional passenger seats. And not just for the above mentioned UTVs by Kubota, but for all UTVs, cars, and trucks. So anything in game is going to have passenger. Now that is tied to this DLC. The Kubota pack is required to use this feature. So it's going to be tied to the Kubota. So you can't separate the universe passenger and the DLC. Your thoughts on that? We've had some vigorous debates on that already today on whether that is good or bad. Leave them in the comments. Tell me if you think that's a good thing, a bad thing. But let's get straight to the pictures. Let's show what they got. They have the DLC right here. We click on that. $12 USD. Again, release date of June 28. Other interesting fact about this, if you read this, it's compatible with the Windows version, Steam and Epic, Mac OS, or Farming Simulator 22 from Giants. It does say update 1.6 or higher. We are on 1.41 right now. So I'm curious to see what is going to come in the updates to get us to 1.6. Probably 1.6 will be the update when this is released as well. This is probably the 1.6 update. But that means we got a 1.5 in there somewhere. So I'm curious to see that. I've reached out to some people, see if we can figure that out. When I hear news, I will report. Here are the details for each of the tractors. Again, we got better pictures these to show you. But this is just the details. Start with the M5. It's got 92 to 106 horsepower. A little bit smaller. It's kind of like a kind of a chunky little tractor right there. Next is the M6. Goes up to 141 horsepower. Very serviceable. The M7, 128 to 168 horsepower. Very good small to medium-sized tractor. And then your bigger boy, your M8, 182 in horsepower. You can do everything you want on a farm with this. I've played farm sim. I've done playthroughs where I've done under 200 horsepower. There are cultivators. There are cedars, fert spreaders. You can find equipment for this. Plows is a little bit difficult for under 200 horsepower, but it's doable. You can do a straight playthrough with nothing but this giant Kubota tractor. Next, they call it a front loader. Wheel loader, front loader, whoever you want to describe it. 61 horsepower. None of these are going to be very big horsepower, but you got your skid steer, 68 horsepower, the, the wheeled version. You got the tracked version. Again, 96 horsepower. This is a little bit bigger. 68 to 90, 96. None of them are very fast, but what is? And then finally, you got the two UTVs. You got the single passenger and then the four passenger. Three passenger, four passengers total. Pretty neat. And then you got a couple of front loader arms for it. You got the smaller version, 100 horsepower, 140 horsepower. So you got a small and a, and a large. Different usage. This one's usually longer. You can reach higher. So that is your equipment list. Now over on the Steam site, we got some pictures. They released this on Steam. And as you can see, we got more information here. The gas, uh, miles per hour, the tonnage. We can see if there's configurations on this uh, front loader. There is no configurations. Well, let's go back to the first one. Here's your M6. You got front weights or three points you can put on there, which is nice. Front loader attachers for the ones that come with it. And you got some engine configurations. 
They don't have prices listed on any of these. I guess that'll be up in the air. I'll have to see how expensive they are. Your M5, again, front weights, engine setups, wheel setups. Not sure what kind of wheels to go, but as there's one picture that shows maybe a possibility. Again, here's your bigger UTV. You got a configuration for a capacity in the back here. Not very much, 280. And design, I don't, that's probably with your roof system, canopies. Here's your smaller one. Again, attachers and design. Doesn't say any capacity, but looks like you can store a pallet in there. There's your front loader arms. There's your wheel loader that we showed. Another front loader arm. There's your tracked vehicle. Again, not too much information. These are still, as I say, work in progress. Here's your M8. You got front weight options, front loader attacher options, engine setups, and wheel setups. So your wheel setups are standard. Obviously, we got the extended axles here. Thinking maybe we could get some duels, whether they are uh, standard, wides, we don't know. But they got the, the axle hubs. Looks like we might be getting duels on those. And then here's your little skid steer. And the M7 again with warning signs. This one has warning signs. The others didn't. I don't know if that'll be standard on all of them. Again, these are work in progress. Not to be confused with done. Front weights are three points. Front loader attachers and engine setups. So they are beautiful looking tractors. The orange is kind of sexy. Looks like they're going to be precision farming ready with the uh, sensors on the front, I'm guessing. That is what we got. That is pretty neat. Many, well, four different sizes of tractors. All the wheel loaders, front loaders, skids. There's no telehandler. What is missing is any implements. There are no mowers, uh, balers, cultivators, seeders. Maybe that will come later. This is the initial thing. Maybe they'll add more products this before it's released. We don't know. This is, again, released just the brand. And this is on Steam. This is subject to change. So I can't take this uh, as a final product. But that is our DLC. The other interesting thing I thought was fun today is if we looked on the blog, they kind of went through what people were guessing down here at the bottom. Right here. This was all the people's guesses from the video, the Morse or the binary code, that sort of thing. Uh, the riddle. Um, and then at the end here, they put a little thing. We bet you can't crack the code hinting at the next pack. And it's what we've decided is Morse code. If you translate that from Morse code, it's A-L-S-O-B which doesn't mean much, but if you translate A-L-S-O-B to German, it means as if. So yes, Giants Rick rolled us. They trolled us. Good on them. Very fun. I like it. They got a sense of humor. Good for them. As if they're going to give us a hint for the next pack. But that's your DLC. Tell me tell me if you what you think of it. Do you, do you think it's, it's a good DLC? Will you pay $12 for it? Do you like the equipment in there? What do you want to see? What do you like seeing? Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe button. Um, and again, leave me comments down, down below. And we will be back with our regularly scheduled mod time a little later today. So until then. Tony's mod time. It's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. Mod time.